Well, now that you've seen that final product of that, uh, that one shot, let's go into Motion 5. And I'll show you how I created movement within a still picture. Movement within a still picture. The two sections that I wanted to create movement on is this steam coming off the locomotive and the clouds moving across the sky. Same direction as the steam, mind you, just, just a point of reference you want to be aware of. So we'll start with the easiest one first. In the steam coming off the locomotive, I found a particle emitter in the library, ironically called cloud, to apply to the steam. And in doing so, I shaped it and directed it in the, in the wind and also turned down the opacity a bit so it looked like it was steam and it was dissipating. So we created that movement there, as you can see it. Now, the next thing was the compositing to get the clouds to move. Instead of using a particle emitter for the clouds to try and match color and what have you, and there's plenty of ways to do the same thing. So there's no really, you know, necessarily one better way over another. But this is how I chose to do this one. I may do another one differently. Um, but what I did here was I took the same shot, the same photograph, and placed it one above the other, layered it. And then, as you can see, I took a little, just show you here for this, the purposes of seeing this better. This is the top picture, and to the top picture, I applied a Bezier mask around parts of the clouds that I wanted to move. Okay? And then I applied movement to that top picture. So you can see here that movement of that Bezier mask. Excuse me. It's the movement of the picture. And so when I apply the bottom picture, you can see how this looks. There you go. So through compositing uh, on getting part of the picture to move and on using a particle emitter over a, this steam area, I, we created the illusion of movement. Thanks. If you like it, click like. If you have other ideas on how to do the same thing, please let's have a dialogue in the comments section. Thanks much. This is Albert Marugi from Give It a Think Productions.